More than 100 days have now passed since the Hamas attacks on Israeli citizens. And since October 7th of last year, the Hamas-Israel war has been full of tragedies on both sides. In Arlington, just before the MLK birthday celebration, roughly 100 people gathered in front of Town Hall on Monday, January 15th. The groups Arlington and Somerville for Palestine say the recent humanitarian pauses in the fighting are welcome moments of peace, but in their words, too many innocent lives are being lost. Our sister group here in Arlington, Arlington for Palestine, were newly formed organizations calling for a ceasefire now and solidarity with Palestinian people in their struggle for liberation. We're uh, here to um, invite the community to come and join us um, to talk about ceasefire and it's time to have a conversation about Palestine and about the genocide happening in Palestine. We just, we just had a little standout today to raise awareness to the ongoing genocide in Gaza against Palestinians trapped in Gaza. The U.S. is funding and supporting and enabling the Israeli government um, to uh, do an excessive bombing campaign. People are dying of starvation and thirst, and they're trapped in Gaza. And we're watching this happen, and we're here today to say, enough, stop the genocide right now, ceasefire now. And we're also here to say we need a solution to this oppression of the Palestinian people that is beyond a ceasefire. And, but the first step is to stop the genocide in Gaza. What do you have to say to those, those people who say Hamas has to go because of what happened on October the 7th? Obviously, this has been ongoing for years and years. But a lot of people say Hamas, you know, for October 7th has to pay for what happened. What do you have to say to that? Sure. Um, let's let's take. I mean, we can't start from October 7th. Yes. History Hamas. Did not start on Hamas October started in 1985. Yes. It formed in in Palestine. So we're talking about occupation started in 1948, and we condemn all the this killing on both sides, of course. But again, we have to look and talk about the occupation and the cause of the problem. We cannot have the leadership of this country supporting an active genocide. We cannot have the leadership of this court of this country allow. We are all watching this genocide play out live on our phones. The children at Arlington High School are watching what Israel is doing to Palestinians trapped in Gaza on their phones. And if our president thinks that he can continue this genocidal campaign against Palestinians trapped in Gaza with nothing, nothing there, then he is out of touch with the reality of the population of the American people right now. We need leadership. We need international intervention. We need to hold Israel accountable to international law and the violations of international law in Gaza. And we need to rush humanitarian aid into Gaza. And Israel needs to turn the water back on for all of those two million people dying of thirst in Gaza. Somerville for Palestine, Arlington for Palestine. We were horrified by the civilian deaths on on October 7th, but history did not start on October 7th. The occupation of the Palestinian people, the oppression, the dehumanization, the racism against Arabs and Muslim Americans has been going on for years and years and years, 75 years of occupation, and now we see it culminating in genocide, and we are here to say enough is enough. Ceasefire, lift the siege on Gaza, end the occupation, liberation for the Palestinian people, and peace for the whole region. Demonstrators say the sporadic and brief ceasefires in this brutal war are only bandages on the serious wounds both Israelis and Palestinians have been suffering for decades. 